Hey everyone, and welcome to this video when I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Microx and Apicurio for rapidly prototyping your ID and producing uh, messages on a Kafka broker. So in this video, we are going to use Apicurio to design an async API contract. We are then going to use Microx to generate mock messages from this async API contract. And we will see how an existing application can then easily retrieve your mocks produced on a Kafka broker. So let's start by the end. And just now, let's start the uh, existing application. So it's a simple Node.js application that is listening my Kafka broker and is listening to a topic called my event API 1.0 my channel. So we're starting the existing application and obviously it does not thing because we do not have designed yet this application, this uh, API, sorry, and the topic does not exist yet. So let's go now to the design. First, we need to, to be sure that there is no pre-existing API on the micro side. So that's okay, no API called my event API. Let's go to Apicurio. On Apicurio, we can create a new API design. This will be my event API, and this is an async API that is compliant with the async API.20 uh, specification. Just create this API, and we can easily edit it. Okay, so First thing first, we have to change the version of the of this API so that we have a, a simplest 1.0 version. And the basic of uh, an async API specification is a channel, a destination, a topic, a queue, or, or what else, where you will send or receive messages. So we just define a simple channel called my channel here. On this channel, we will exchange uh, messages. So we have to, to create a new data type. Okay. And because uh, this will be events related to user, we call them user event, simply put. And the one, the one nice thing with Apicurio is that you can just put it uh, a JSON sample right here to uh, specify the schema of the message you will send to the destination. Okay, so here I got an ID property, a full name, and an email property that are all string properties. So I can just save the data type here and Apicu inferred the different properties of my schema. Okay, so back to my channel. I can define the different operations. Here it will be a, a subscribe operation. And I have the ability to set, to configure each and every properties, whether the generic information or the, the message information. Here, if we go straight to the, the mandatory part, we have to define a, a, a payload type for the content so we can easily reuse the user event type we have just defined right here. And once we have defined a type, we have the ability to define example. So we can add an example, just put a simple example using my identity. So we'll put up basic ID, my full name, and my email address right here. So you can just add it, right. And that's okay for me. I've got all the basics to start uh, producing messages from my uh, specification. Let's get back to the API summary and use here this mock with my crocs button, simply put. We want my crocs to create a mock for this API. And that's it. So just right here on the right side, you can see that 
my existing application that was listening to the my event API topic is starting to receive fake messages, sample messages that are emitted frequently by Microx. So let's go to the Microx UI. You, you can search again for my event API and here it is my event API that is an event API with version 1.0. Let's go to the details. It has one operation that is a subscribe operation and we can see that it is connected with a, a Kafka endpoint. It has a, a Kafka binding. It is the default binding in Microx. And it produces messages each and every three seconds. The messages you can see right here. You can see that is that there is only one mock for the moment. That is the, the mock called Laurent right here. So this is very fast. We can have mock messages in seconds and having existing application that start receiving messages in seconds but these messages are quite each and uh, they are all the same so this is static content so let's see how we can use some dynamic content right here so let's get back to apicurio and i restart editing my api so let's get back to my channel to my message and here I will add new example to produce dynamic content. So let's call this new example random and generate a skeleton. And we will place the values here by a specific notation that will allow Microx to generate dynamic content when producing mocks. So I've got this GYD function. I also got the, the random full name function right here and I also got the random email function right there so just add my sample okay let's get back to my API summary and updating the mock in Microx updating this mock and right here on the right I'm starting to receive new messages that have dynamic content right here so got dynamic ids full name and sample email that make every message different from the previous one let's get back to the microx ui refreshing the definition okay and i can see right now i have two samples and my developers are able to see the different mock messages and the different rules on how these messages are produced. And here I've got the, the sample for this. Okay, so that's it for me. You see that it's really easy, it's really quick to transform a simple a sync API design IDs into live messages in seconds so that you'll be able to have a very quick feedbacks on different IDs and then to, to, to iterate very, very quickly on your API design. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye bye.